Welcome everyone to Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania and gorgeous PNC Park. MLB The Show has action out of the NL Central. It's the Chicago Cubs going up against the Pittsburgh Pirates. First pitch coming at you right after the break. Here's Nick Madrigal. Leading off tonight for the Cubs. The designated hitter, Nick Madrigal. The wide to kick the pitch. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A.B. going. Got him swinging. Now one away. Ian Happ up to hit. Big game last night. He went four for five. Ian Happ. Next pitch has popped up. And puts the squeeze on it. That's out number two. Going to have to have a little more discipline in future at bats. That pitch looked good, but you can't hit it. It was just too high in the zone. You usually see a swing and miss or weak contact in the infield. The one two. And now two and two. You see how the catcher wanted that pitch up and in. Want to try to tie him up. That's the one thing we're seeing. That high fastball, you have to get it up there because of how hitters have changed their swings. Out towards left center. Dives. Can't get it. It's a base hit. The tag, and that's out number three, inning over. Swing and a miss. One and two. There's a swing and a drive. That one's got a chance. And that ball is gone. A towering shot to center, and they jump out front. It's 1 0. So digging in, Connor Joe. 1 2, bottom of the first. The pitch. Battling here as he fouls it away. The real threats are coming up. Already given up a home run in this inning. He's going to really have to bear down. Pitch misses there. The count now two and two. Always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up, and you start to expect a big inning. And that one hammered back there. And that one hops the wall. Safely into second. He's got a double. He needed that one. It's been a tough stretch at the plate lately. I love the approach he had right there with that pitch. Not trying to do too much, but still looking to drive it. And that's exactly what he's able to do into the opposite field gap. For the Swing, and this one's blasted. It's got a chance. Gone! Oh! Ryan Reynolds leaves the yard. His 21st of the year, and they add a couple more. It's 3-0. Here's O'Neill Cruz. Tons of pop. Right now, he's third in the National League in homers. On the ground. The one two. That one is absolutely belted. That's back there. Out of here. That one felt good. Home run number 30 on the year. And they add on. It's 4 0. Now it's the rookie DH, Kanan Smith and Jigba. Next offering is down low, and it's two and one. Well, a really rough inning out there on the mound, and uh, this is one of those where you learn a lot about a guy's toughness and his ability to turn the page and keep pressing forward. That one finds the zone. And now two and two. Well, at this pace, he's not going to be in this game for very long. But he's got to find a way to shake it off. Keep it isolated to one inning. Come back out. You could throw up a bunch of zeros and save that bullpen. The wind of the pitch. Just misses the mark outside the zone. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Struck him out looking. 
He's got to be frustrated with that call. Here's the second baseman, Rodolfo Castro. Two for nine so far in the series. Swing and a miss. One and two. The pitch. That one blasted deep to right. Suzuki going back on it. Pulls it in on the warning track. Man, I love that route. The ball was smoked. He knew he had to get back to the track right away. Turned his back on the infield. Got to the spot, turned around, and made a nice catch. Next one misses, and a count two and one. Bounce to the left side. Morell whips it across, and that ends the inning. Back here at PNC Park, new inning getting started. Here's the veteran shortstop, Dansby Swanson. Hammered down the line, could be extra bases. Makes the turn and heads for second. And he's got a leadoff double. Well, his hot hitting continues. He's been getting great results lately. A well-deserved double on a great swing. Got everything going on time. He stayed balanced and he squared it up about as well as you could possibly ask. Next to hit, Seiya Suzuki. Puts it in the air out towards left center. And that should be extra bases. He's in safely at second, and a run comes in to score. Well, that gets him a little closer in this one. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. Here's the third baseman, Christopher Morell. Pitch misses, ball two. Good eye right there. Swing and a pop-up. Santana settles underneath it. He makes the grab, and there's one away. Trey Mancini now. The first base base, Trey Mancini. Two-two. Up the middle, Cruz tosses to first, and there's two away. Here's Cody Bellinger. The center fielder, number 24. Cody Bellinger, remember, in 2017, he won the Rookie of the Year, hit 39 homers, and that set a National League rookie home run record. And that one is inside. Yeah, Boog, a tremendous athlete. He won the Rookie of the Year as a first baseman, plays center field with the tops in the game, and he's got a gold glove and right. Comebacker to the mound. Tosses to first. That's out number three. We head to the bottom of the second. Digging in, Andy Rodriguez. The catch Saying he wasn't very sharp in the first, got hit around a little bit, just wasn't able to locate particularly well. A lot of stuff for the fat part of the plate. Yeah, Boog, he wasn't fooling anyone. It's a tough place to be because it's not always obvious what adjustments need to be made. Sometimes it's location. Sometimes it's being too predictable. Sometimes you're tipping your pitches. He's going to need to figure it out quickly, though. Bounce to the right. One up, one down. And now it's the switch hitter, Carlos Santana. Didn't play in last night's game. A little breather for him. And the pitch. There's a strike. One ball, two strikes. That one ran inside, almost got him. Straightened him up a little bit.
Swings and misses. Struck him out. Now batting now key batting. Brian Hayes. The, the solo hit. homer key his first hit. time. That one lifted to left. Hap on his horse. Brings it in with a nice running grab. And that's the inning. And welcome back. And here's the catcher, Luis Torrens. Luis Torrens. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Boog, do you think you could draw a walk in the bigs if we gave you enough at bats? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I think that if they gave the pitcher a full scouting report on me, yes, I think I could draw a walk. And a pitch. And that one is lifted in the air. And that'll get down for a hit. Lead runner touches second, headed for third. And the throws offline, safe at third. You know what they say, he couldn't have thrown it out there any better than that, and certainly the case that time. Just flared it back behind the second baseman and dropped it in there. Stepping in, Ian Happ. Swing and a miss. And that is strike two. Just missed. This is a situation where the hitter is looking for something up in the zone that he can get his arms extended. What you have to be careful of is that pitch that's up, that's in on your hands. That'll pop you up in the infield, and that's exactly what the pitcher wants. No, now, interesting. Bad, bad. He went with that's the off reason. speed and you walked go, the hitter. Man, you got to challenge the guy with the fastball. Good eye in that spot. The opportunity for a huge inning exists right here. Bases loaded, nobody out. But as a hitter, can't be over anxious. That pitcher is up against the wall. Make him come to you. Two two now. The other way. That's a base hit. Run scores. Runner held at third, and they'll be loaded again with nobody out. Puts a run on the board and picks up an RBI. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Dansby Swanson stands in. The one two. Check swing. Now we'll look down to first. Ah, and he punches him out. He went around. Now it's the right fielder, Seiya Suzuki. He doubled home a run in his first AB. At the dish, looking to lift the ball in the air in this spot. Anything but the inning, inning double play, boo. Two and one now. That to right. Way back there. And foul as it bangs off the fence. Comes the two two. Line drive. He holds it in. Two away. Yeah, that was a wasted RBI opportunity, but competitor like him, he is looking forward to making up for it in his next at bat. Hot shot to first base, and he snags it to end the inning. here in Pittsburgh set for the bottom of the third now it's going to be Connor Joe Connor. 
Well, he's back oh, out here for the third, and after the first couple of innings, pretty rough. I think the skipper's looking for him to give him a little bit of length, see if he can save the bullpen some. And he walked him. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. Brian Reynolds oh, here. Good. He's already it's homered in this one. Brian. Going to count one and two. One Fooled ball. on that pitch. Got a little anxious. And now in a two-strike count, he's going to have to widen out his stance, choke up on the bat, and really exactly. make sure he has pitch recognition before pulling the trigger. Next offering misses, and the count's full. Good battle here, about to be the eighth pitch of the at-bat. Swing and a miss. Couldn't catch up to the heater. O'Neill Cruz, the next pirate to hit. One for one so far today with a solo homer in his first at-bat. Three, two now. Always tough to turn two on a speedster like this. It's even harder with him coming out of the left-handed batter's box. You really need something to hit hard on the ground that they can handle to turn two quickly. Next offering, pop foul off to the right out of play. Three, two. And a swing and a miss. Back-to-back -back strikeouts. Now, uh, the and now the DH, Kanan Smith and Jigba. Struck out looking at his first at bat. Here comes a pitch. Hit on the ground to the right side. And it goes just foul. And here it comes. Ground ball right side. It's through for a hit. They stop the lead runner at second. Now two on with two outs. Well, he found himself behind in the count right there, but he didn't give in. He kind of rolled over on this pitch a little bit, but he got enough behind it to shoot it through for a knock, and we'll take that any time you can get him to find a hole. The next offering misses, and it's two and two. At the belt and fires. Swing and a miss, and he got him. Inning over. Welcome back. And here's the first baseman, Trey Mancini. His family owns Mancini Peppers, and you know, they produce up to 50,000 pounds of peppers a day. They got roasted peppers, fried, blanched, sweet, hot, tangy. Am I making you hungry over there? Very hungry. Well, the Mancini family has been farming in Florida since the 1940s. And makes the grab, and there's one down. One down, there comes Cody Bellinger. The 1-1. One, one. And that's in for a strike. And now it's even up. One down, base is empty. And that just misses. High fly ball, shallow right field. Mitchell settles underneath it. Two down. Luis Torrens, the oh, next cup to hit. The walk and a run scored his first time. 1-1 one, one now. And a strike in there. One ball, two strikes. The 1-1 one, one is fouled off. Another one, two. In the dirt. Throw on to Santana. And it's a one, two, three inning.
back here at the ballpark. Bottom of the fourth. Cal Mitchell to the plate here. Next pitch misses inside, and it's two and one. Well, he hasn't quite settled in out there. Four runs in three innings. He's going to have to have some quick one, two, three innings to pitch deep into this ball game. Left hand batter waits. And now the count filled up three and two. Well, he went inside a couple of times, and now outside, hitter's not exactly sure where to look for this next pitch. On the ground, right side, and that's just foul. A wind and a pitch. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. And that's the first out. Now, and now the catcher. switch hitting catcher, Andy Rodriguez. Grounded out his first time up. The wind and a pitch. Line drive, base hit right center field. And that's going to roll to the wall. Around first and hustling for second. And he's in with a stand up double. Still able to come through behind in the count right there. Pretty much just a textbook double into the gap. And when you can drop one in there between the outfielders, you know you're making the turn at first. Just an excellent swing. New pitcher in the game for the Cubs, Adrian Sampson. And this could be a pretty critical point in this game. They're hoping he's the guy to keep them within striking distance. Carlos Santana, the next pirate to hit. The 1-1. One -one. Swinging a foul straight back. The pitch. Blows the high heat past him. That's a strikeout. So the Pirates batting order turns over. Now the third baseman, Key Brian Hayes. One for two with a solo home run back in the first inning. Man at second. And that's outside. <laughs> Got him swinging for the strikeout. Pulled the string on the changeup. On the mound now, Will Crow. These are the spots where relievers really make a name for themselves. Late and close. There's not much margin for error, but at the same time, there's a reason they're put in these situations. So the lineup flips over. Now it's the DH, Nick Madrigal. Nick Madrigal. Strike two. You know, these Cubs finding ways to get on base, but they still need help driving them home. They do have two hits with runners in scoring position, so they've delivered in those moments a couple of times, but for the most part, they're leaving a lot of food on their plate. to center and a base hit. Couple of hits in a row for him here. You'll often hear the phrase short to it, long through it, and that's a great example of it right there. Got the barrel in the hitting zone early, squared it up with the well-timed swing, and came away with a beautiful line drive in the center field. Next to hit, Ian Hatt. pitch now he can't squeeze it behind the plate well done behind the dish foul ball and it remains a full count with two strikes may see some movement over there at first base trying to stay out of a double play here three two on the way and that's ball four Walks out of the bullpen can absolutely kill your momentum very quickly. They're in some hot water trying to protect this lead. First and second, no outs. And now Nico Horner. Next offering is in for a strike. That's 
ripped, and this one could be extra bases. Coming home. One runs in, around third. He'll score, and they've tied it. It's four to four. Big one there as he drives in a couple of runs. Off the bat, it was headed for the gap all the way. And as a hitter, you love seeing those as you take your first couple of steps out of the box. You know you've got some real estate to run on. and such a good feeling. Nice liner into the gap right there. And yeah, the batter now, Dansby Swanson. Tied at four. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. Joe makes the catch one down. Good pitch. He just kind of had him out in front on that pitch away and wasn't able to stay close. Now so up next, right Seiya Suzuki. Kicks and fires. That's a hit. Horner flies around third. Mitchell fires it to the plate. Not in time. He's safe as a run scores. Well, he comes through clutch with the RBI single. That was big. Pitch was away, and he did exactly what you're supposed to do with it. Drive it the other way. Just go with the pitch. Here's a new pitcher from the pen, Colin Holderman. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. And up next for Chicago, Christopher Morrell. Swing and a miss. And it's one and two. Suzuki, the runner at first with one gone in the inning. The one one is fouled off. Got him looking for the K. Strike three called and a slider at the knees. Trey Mancini, the next Cub to hit. Chris, you know what they call Mancini. Boom, boom. That's right, for Ray Mancini, the famous boxer. It stuck when he started hitting home runs, though, in baseball. Knocks it down, but in time. Nice job to stay with it to end the inning. Bottom of the inning. Now the number two hitter, Connor Joe. Next offering, pop foul off to the right out of play. Two again. This one in the air center field. Bellinger makes the grab. And there's one away. Brian Reynolds now at the plate. One for two with a two run homer back in the first. Next pitch misses. And it's two and one. And that one fouled off. The 2-2 two -two on the way. Bounced up the middle. And they take care of Reynolds for the out. O'Neill Cruz, the next to hit. He's already homer here in this one. 3-2 now. The right-hander gives up the two-out walk. One of the things about that two-out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead. So ball down the line or into the gap will produce a two-out RBI, and those are the best. That is, if you are the offensive side of it. That's to third. And that is the inning. Welcome back. All set for the top of the sixth. So up now for Chicago, Cody Bellinger. Cody Bellinger. Next offering is fouled back. And the righty deals. And a good eye there.
boots it. Now at the plate, Luis Torrens. And a pitch. Line drive, base hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Back to the leadoff spot in the Cubs lineup. Nick Madrigal, the next Cub to hit. Kicks and deals. Pitch is in the dirt. Now two balls and a strike. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on. Probably a challenge pitch coming. Really been able to slow down the game tonight with his at-bats. And the biggest one he's had so far, he doesn't look anxious at all. Swing and a miss. He was late. Strike two. I guess you throw it that hard, you can get away with locations like that right down the middle. But I still think it's a dangerous pitch. Don't want to do it again. That's out to center field. And out number one on the grab. As good as he's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand, you cannot hang a breaking ball right there. Lucky it stayed in the ballpark. Ian Hatt, the next cup to hit. And a pitch. Down the line, and it's foul. Well, all eyes on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Here's Nico Horner. No matter what, when you're playing this kind of rival, take your game to another level. Two on, two outs. On the ground, right side. Throw on to Santana. Third out. Bottom of the sixth inning at the plate for Pittsburgh, Rodolfo Castro. The second base. Hammered on the line, base hit. Well, that'll make you feel good as a hitter right there. It sounded different than most hits coming off the bat. You don't need numbers to tell you the ball was hit extremely hard, but at 115 miles per hour, that's not an exit velocity you see very often. Very impressive. Castro on at first. Nobody out. And a swing and a miss. One away. And now the catcher comes up to him. Andy Rodriguez. The 2-1. Strike three, got him swinging. Two away. Next to switch hitting first baseman, Carlos Santana. Santana. Righty delivers. So now two on and two outs. His ability to draw walks has been something that's been a part of his career since day one. Here's the third baseman, Key Brian Hayes. He's already homered in this game. The pitch. Center field. Bellinger drifts towards it. That is the inning. Now on the bump, Robert Stevenson. He doesn't get a lot of strikeouts compared to other relievers, so he relies on getting that soft contact and the defense doing the work behind him. They'll have to be on their toes with him on the bump. Now it's the shortstop, Dansby Swanson. Swanson, former first-round pick by the Arizona Diamondbacks. Vanderbilt player in college, college World Series player, all that good stuff, but 
really coming into his own. And it's filled up. 3-1 count. Saying to himself, I've got to get a fastball here. Just spins a get-me-over breaking ball to bring the count full. Rip to right, base hit. Oh, I'm sure he feels really good about that one. Off the bat, that one registered at 105 miles per hour, man. That is smoking, and these days you hear it all the time, but the numbers just don't lie. If you can drive a ball like that, more often than not, you're picking up a knock. Swings and misses. It's a strikeout. Slider got him for a strike three. Christopher Morell, the next Cub to hit. Here's a one two. And it's through for a hit. Throw and it gets away. And he's going to make it up to second base as that's a two base error. One away, runners at second and third. Trey Mancini, the next Cub to hit. The pitch. That's in there. Two and two now. Here's a sack fly situation, and he's got to make sure he gets the ball out over the plate and get those arms extended. They're trying to crowd him with the infield in. This would be a big pickoff if he can push a run across. The 2 2. Swing, and he popped it up. Cruz puts the squeeze on that one, and there are two down. Bellinger up to hit. And this is a big opportunity for him to pick up his teammate right here. Second and third, two down. And he deals. Now one missed. This is a really good feeling for a hitter. At this point in the ball game, you know that they don't want to walk you, so you're going to get a pitch to hit. You just better not miss it. Next offering is foul back. On the ground to third. To first. And Bellinger is out. That ends the inning as they squander a chance to pick up some insurance. Back here in Pittsburgh, set for the last half of the seventh. Now the left fielder, Connor Joe. The 2 1. That one is upstairs. I almost feel like he's frustrated a little bit. He wants to be challenged. And there's a foul ball. It's a hitter. You don't know what to expect here in the 3 2. If he'll throw a breaking ball 3 1, he'll do it again 3 2. Struck him out looking. Ryan Reynolds getting ready to hit. And a 1 1. Good eye right there. Well, you get to this part of the order. Yeah, there's some pop there, but more likely there are some base hits. So very important to be patient. Let the pitcher walk you, if he will. Right hander kicks deals. Out to short Swanson. Tosses to first, and that quickly two away. And next will be the cleanup hitter, O'Neill Cruz. Trying to keep good speed off the bases. And the right hander deals. Out to center. Bellinger drifts towards it. And makes the play, and that's out number three. Dwayne Underwood Jr. gets the call from the pen. Gets an opportunity to square off against his former team, so I wouldn't be surprised if he came out a little extra jacked up right here. Well, one run game. Now the Cubs catcher, Luis Torrens. Drilled out towards left center field. That's well struck. Back there. And it one hops the wall. Into second easily with a leadoff double. 
Showed some really nice patience in that at bat. Worked himself into a good count. Got a good pitch to drive. Stayed short with his bat path to the ball and caught it out front. And he stayed long in his follow through. That's how you split the gap. And that's pretty much a double every time. At the belt and fires. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. Pretty good pitch there to take a rip at. He wants to get his arms extended. He likes the ball away from him a little bit. Just not able to square it up. And a pop-off. Right side. Foul territory. Santana makes the grab. One away. And next for the Cubs, Ian Happ. Good contact guy. Good defender. Torrens, the runner at second with one away. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. And a ball in two strikes. On the ground right side. Throw on to Santana. He's out. At the play. Nico Horner. Chris, baseball today, so many strikeouts, and they are available to pitchers. But this is a guy that puts the bat on the ball and is kind of different from the players that we see day in, day out. That one a little bit high, and now three and one. Yeah, his swing is so good. It's in the zone a long time. He gets the barrel to it a lot, and that produces more base hits. 3-1, and he couldn't come up with it. When you look at the elite teams in the game right now, there is going to be the slug no question about it but the really good offensive teams combine slug with more contact with less swing and miss still two and two after the foul ball Foul ball, another 2-2 upcoming. Well, he knows they don't want to give him anything to hit, but when you've got opportunities to drive in runs, you've got to expand the zone. He's capable of going out there and doing damage with it. Puts the squeeze on that one, and that will end the inning. New pitcher now, Cody Hoyer. This is his fifth appearance of the year. Now pitching for Chicago. Number 12, Cody Hoyer. And here is Kanan Smith and Jigba. The designated hitter, Kanan Smith and Jigba. Left hand hitter waits. Right through there for a strike. One ball. And a pitch. Bows it off, still one and two. The tying run at the plate. Fights that one away, still one and two. Well, he hasn't gotten the result yet, but it's got to feel pretty confident. Three foul balls in a row. He's right on this guy. Whoa, Next pitch downstairs, man. two and two. Got him looking as the fastball runs back over the inside corner. Now it's the second baseman, Rodolfo Castro. Corner infielders guarding the lines, trying to prevent extra bases. Ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Multi-hit game for him now, and with the lack of results he's been having lately, I'm sure he's feeling some relief. Timing on the swing was good, able to shoot the ball up the middle. Didn't square it up as much as he probably would have liked, but that's a good approach paying off. One down, runner at first. And the batter now, Cal Mitchell. So now one and two. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get into scoring position. One run game, one out, one on. Next pitch misses way outside. Right. 
Swing and a ball popped up. Corner on the move. Racing makes the catch. Two away. Andy Rodriguez. The next pirate to hit. Well, a pretty good speed over there at first base. I think the pitcher's got to slow everything down. Hold the ball a little bit. Step off. Just try to break the rhythm and timing of a potential base dealer. In the air, right field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And the inning is over. Now into the game, G1 Bay. He'll play second. Now on the mound now for the Pirates, Harleen Garcia. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their guys a chance to fight back into the game. Harleen Garcia. And now the right fielder, Seiya Suzuki. The right well, he came up clutch earlier in this ball game and really just needs to take the same approach. Think hard right back up the middle. Here comes a pitch. That one is hammered right field. That's got a chance. And it hits the top of the wall. In safely with a double, his second of the day. Having himself a really nice game at the plate. Anytime you smoke a ball off the wall, you kind of think about what it could have been, but obviously you have to be happy with that result. And now here is Christopher Morell. Next pitch just misses. Full count now. Crowd locked in right now. One run game here in the ninth. And this one could be extra bases. Suzuki around third. He will score. And it's 6-4. Thought about third, but back to second safely. Back-to-back -back -back base hits. Nice line drive to the pull side right there, but he didn't spin off of it. That's the key. You still have to extend through the baseball in order to hit a line drive like that. Now here is Trey Mancini. Out towards right center. That's well struck. And out of here. That was a moonshot. Home run number 15 on the year. And they add to the lead. It's 8-4. So the closer summoned from the bullpen, David Bednar. He's into the game with the bases empty. And up to the plate comes Cody Bellinger. And a pitch. And a foul ball. One, two now. And a ball and evens the count. Boog, he never moved because he never had time to. But that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. And now it's filled up. Left hand batter waits. Swings and misses on the fastball up in the zone for the strikeout. Luis Torrens, the next cup to hit. Here's a 2 1. Yeah, that's a little bit high. Bednar is what you're looking for in a good reliever. The ball stays in the ballpark, it's so hard to square him up. Yeah, he stays out of the middle and, and pitches either at the bottom or at the top on the edges. And because of that, if you do get it in the air, it's usually just a high fly ball. And when it's down in the zone, it's on the ground. Still only one out here in the inning. In the air, out towards left center, and it drops in. And that turns the lineup over. Love how he became a really tough out ball. with two strikes right there. Hooked around that pitch on the outside, but he was still able to square it up pretty nicely. And that takes quick, strong wrist to pull that off. Now, here is Nick Madrigal. And it's even up. He's so consistent that the manager basically can look at it like he's got three outs sitting in his pocket. That shortens the game. Torrens leads off first with one away. On the ground to third. And it gets by him. A 
couple of singles back to back. Turned on it nicely. Now, Definitely a little out in front of the pitch, but he didn't hook around it too much and was able to keep it fair down the line. And now Ian Happ in the dirt blocked. Now the tag at third, and they got him. When he takes the mound, you feel like, hey, this inning is wrapped or this ball game is over. He's just that good. And you can see it in opposing hitters as well. Two outs and one in scoring position. That one ripped. That's back. Grabs it right up against the wall. So out of the pen comes the right-hander, Rowan Wick. And he's got a big-time breaking ball to contend right, with. Right, uh, hitters are going to have to pick it up early if they're going to have any chance. Number 99, Rowan Wick. And now the first baseman, Carlos Santana. The first baseman, Carlos Santana. Swings through it for the K. He swung over top of the curveball. Now the third baseman, Key Brian Hayes. The count two and one. That one 95 to finish him off. So it's their last chance in this one. Up next for the Pirates, Connor Joe. And here it comes. And now one strike away. Inside oh, just game. missed. That turns out to be a really good take right there, but you don't want to end this game with the bat on your shoulder. In the air to left center, Hap on his horse. He's got it. Ball game. And the Cubs have won four in a row. Trailing by four runs can be pretty tough, especially when there's good pitching on the other side. But these guys just kept fighting. They never gave up. And that's why they got back in the ball game and came away with the win in this one. And our final here today, 8-4. The Cubs go home a winner for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Chomby. Thanks for joining us. Here now is the final line score tonight.